All right, for the muckers. <clears throat> Slim Thick, 69-69 here. Back at it again. Playing Victoria 2. Slaying some Tehranian uh, booty. As Iraq. Uh, oh, they've invaded me. I didn't even notice that. Um, we got this battle going on here. Where are we? What are we doing? So we're playing Iraq. We took over Shiraz or Shiriz or whatever the hell that was. Fighting Tehran right now. We're going to take over Sindh. Probably going to take over these guys, even though they're my allies, but I'm going to backstab them. Probably going to take over this kingdom, Sadozai, whatever the hell. Probably going to take over Safavids or whatever. Taking over the Sublim port, whatever. We're going to expand all over the Middle East. All right. We're going to form maybe Persia. Can we form Persia, actually? Let me look at decisions. Uh, secularized society would be okay. Persian dream. Huh. Restore academia. Unite all Arab nations. Here we go. This is what we got to do. This is what we need to do. <clears throat> Take a rocky desert. All right. We need to form the Arab Empire, wherever the hell that is. But... <clears throat> we're going to win this battle probably and we're going to move more troops in some mobilized units um, we're doing great actually in this game let's just see uh, how this war turns out oh it's getting close it's getting close here uh, boys uh, this is actually not looking good for us oh but we won okay good Where are they going? Nez here. Okay, we're going to follow them down. Hopefully destroy them. Let's hope that we can just crush them here. I hope, I hope we can just obliterate them. <clears throat> Alright, these units need to go over here. Where are they going now? I don't want to, to destroy a unit completely, right? You don't need to completely destroy them in a battle. You can surround them, right? If, you, if you're fighting a battle and, then you, and they're surrounded and they lose, uh, then it's called an encirclement and they all die. So I'm going to get my troops in there so that they attack me. Oh, jeez. They're attacking me. I've surrounded them. So now when they lose this battle... Oh, boy. Where's the rest of these guys? Get on over here, fellas. When they lose this battle, they should all die. No, they are they allied with them or something? How'd they get out of there? Oh, whatever. Man. Whatever. Get back. You guys get over there. Alright, so apparently they have military access here, so they can just flee into that now. I'm going to take this war slow because, you know, in the early stages of this game... You know, it's very important that you don't have decisive losses. I don't know if I'm going to be able to refill these troops. I don't know if I'm going to have the military, like, equipment to refill my actual army. So I might just try to win this war without using too many actual troops and hopefully just use... Um, hopefully I can just use... Here we go. Hopefully I can just use the mobilized, like, peasant infantry. That would be ideal. That would be the ideal. Would be to do that. It's okay. All you guys, get together. And attack them in the mountains. I know I'm attacking into the mountains, but it's infantry and cavalry versus all infantry. 23,000 infantry. I should be okay. 12,000 go there. This should be an easy, this should be a pretty easy war. And I want to conquest, oh, what? Demand concession. All right, I can't conquest. Oh man, that stinks. I can demand concessions, and I have zero infamy. 
I should be able to demand all, all this. All right, so this is their capital area. What's this? What is this region? This region is known as Isfahan. Isfahan. I want to demand concession Isfahan. Boom. I'm demanding that. Then I'm going to demand this, whatever this one is, Cor Corazon. That'll be the next concession. Oh, what? They got away. Right, they're going to be on the 22nd. These guys are going to be out on the 22nd. We'll see. We'll see who catches first. I did not catch them. But that's okay. So their armies are split. No way. Oh. Oh, we're winning pretty good. I'm going to add another war goal. Now yeah, one core's on. Then I want the capital region. I wonder what that would cost. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Now, am I in anybody's sphere? No, I'm not. Why does nobody want me in their sphere? I want to be in somebody's sphere. Anyone's. Literally anybody's. I'll also point out, we went up to number 17 in the world right now. Out of all the countries. And that is very good. That is very, very good. Uh, in Bohemia and Scandinavia at war. That's crazy. Um, I wonder what adding Tehran will get me to. Uh, I don't, to be honest, I don't really read into this stuff too much. I guess I want more citizens. So I'm going to go full citizenship. I don't really care about... The minor political stuff, I don't really care about. I know in the real world there are consequences for stuff like that. So giving full citizenship to everybody is not a good idea. Um, and you want to be very selective. But in this game, I just want more people to tax. You know, I'm the king. I'm the emperor. I want more people to tax. I want to rule over more people. I don't really care about, I don't really care about other things like, oh, you know, who are these people? I don't care. I just want money. That's all I care about. Uh, protectionism, I guess. Uh, I want to stop this. Oh, they got it. That really sucks. I do not want to attack them in the mountains. They can come into my country, that's fine. play this game. Reactionary, heck yeah. All right, I'm going to come back and crush these guys real quick. Uh, number them, and I'm uh, mostly artillery. How am I doing? I crossed what? Terrain and cross? They're in the mountains, I guess. Whatever, I still won. Now then, where are they going? I gotta follow him. I got to... I destroyed him. Nice. Okay. This is good. It's pretty much the war at this point. I'm gonna win this. Now then, I wanna add more. Let's take their capital. So, the thing you gotta watch out for with Infamy is, once you get past 25, then you get a lot of crap put on you. So by adding this war goal, we gain 11.5 Infamy. 11.5 plus 12.19 is obviously 
23.69. So, uh, when we do this, we're getting pretty darn close to 25. We're going to want to take it easy now with infamy. And they want to offer us peace. What sort of peace are they going to offer us? It's not going to be what I want. They would not accept it. Yeah, so no. I'm not going to accept peace with them. They're not going to give me what I want. So I'm not accepting. <clears throat> so I'm going to completely, I'm going to continue to conquer them until I have everything I want. And you know what? This is what they get for starting a war. This is what they get. They're evil bad guys. How dare they start a war with my friend. They would accept this offer. I don't have the infamy to add the last piece. The last piece would cost 7 point something to add, which I do not have. I would go up to 29 point something or maybe 30 which would be really bad for me. Plus, when you get the 25 infamy, there's all this, these, all these negative modifiers put on your country, which I rarely have ever seen because I rarely ever go over that infamy level. But also, all these other countries get cut down to size and other Caustus bellies on you, and they can attack you at will, like all the great powers can. They can start putting you down, and I don't want them to attack me. So I'm going to play it cool, play it easy, boom, take over most of their country. Move that army back. I'm going to demobilize. And there we go. We did it. Now, because I got that research. What? I haven't even been checking this. Oh, the intellectuals is at 3.2%. I need to move these. I need to pay more attention to this. As you remember in the last episode, we want our intellectuals to be at 2%. They're actually already at 2%. This is at 2%. This is not a 2%. So let's move this guy here. Intellectual is 2%. Intellectual is 2%. 1.3%. Which I actually don't know if these count because they're colonial provinces. And I don't know how I'm going to get them to be my provinces. Oh, Persian dream, huh? What's this Persian dream all about? Okay, I don't know what that's all about. Am I Persia? No, I'm not. This is a Persian dream. Okay. So, alright. I'm going to want this next one immediately. Just because I need more research points. My army is crap. But that's okay. They're still in a sphere. They're not in a sphere, but they're allied to the South of the Empire. They're allied to these guys. How many units they got? Twelve divisions. They have six divisions. Hmm. The play might be to attack these guys, and they call the Safavids into the war. Destroy the Safavids first. Add the war goal. Add war goals to conquer them. I can't right now. I need to wait for this to go down. Which is going to go down fast. It goes down much faster than vanilla in this game. In this game mode it goes down way faster. The infamy does. As you can see. It's going to go down 0.45 minus 0 0.02. So 0 0.43 every uh, month. Every month ticker it's going to go down 0.43. So basically they have a point every month. Uh, so that's great. Um, but for now we need to play a waiting game. I need to keep making money. I need to make another troop for this army, I think. No, two. I need to make two cannons for them. I lost two cannons in that. I need to keep an eye on my population because these people are getting 2% intellectuals very fast. What about these places? Yeah, they don't. They need intellectuals. This is going to get 2% first. So now I'm gaining money. I need to repay all my loans. I'm going to repay all the loans now. Now that I got the money to do that. And I also want to start thinking about... Um, proportional representatives. Uh, okay. Oh, and I got rebel factions in our country. Oh, God. Rebel support. 
three brigades. Okay. Um, what do I need to do here? I need to start thinking about uh, where am I going to build factories and what am I going to build. A glass factory is great and all it needs is coal. And bottling is also really great. So let me look at the region. Let me look at our N, what's it called? I forget what it's called. RGO output. Where is coal? Uh, I know, where is coal? Coal, here we go. Here's coal. All right, we took some good land in that war, I think. So, these two provinces... These two provinces produce coal, and they are in Iraqi, Iraqi, oh, they're in both these places, Iraqi, Khorasan, Khorasan, so Iraqi, ah, shoot, they're colonial, so I can't build in them, ah, shoot. Iraqa Jimmy. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to build in them because uh, they're colonial. Okay. Well, in any case, what is that? What does uh, bottling works need again? Glass for now. I need fruit and wheat. So, fruit and wheat. I got fruit and wheat right here. And these, and this region here, fruit and wheat. Now, what is this region called? Al Basra. Al Basra. Al Basra. Here we go. This is where I'm going to build a bottling factory. Now, I do need glass, which I can't build a factory for, but I'll I'll be able to get. My country will import it from other countries for this bottling works. So I'm going to build this bottling works. It's going to come up. And it's going to start producing bo uh, bottled, you know, liquor. And uh, that's going to be good for producing troops inside the country. Because every army, every soldiers, so like cannons, need bottled goods. Uh, horsemen need wine, I think it is. But cannons need bottled, bottled goods. So like, they need the... the the stuff we're going to be producing. Which I'm going to want a lot of them. I'm going to want a lot of cannons. And I can actually build another 30 stack now. Which is what I'm going to do. Boom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Boom. I can build another stack because I can have a maximum of 20 brigades in uh, our force. So that's something we do. I'm going to let it build. I'm still gaining money. I might want to build another bottle work somewhere. Because those can bring in a lot of uh, money for my people. That could go in here, whatever that region's called. This is called South Iraq. Or Iraq, whatever you want to call it. Iraqi South Iraq. Boom build it and I'm probably also gonna want to open all factories and help fund it and I took a little loan no oh, don't take a loan I'm going to repay it I'm gonna repay my loans it looks like I'm doing really well here. Bohemia is doing well, it looks like. <clears throat> I really want to be in somebody's sphere, but nobody's fearing me right now. I don't know why. Let's increase relations with them. Near East, 
Iraq. Here we go. Neutral, neutral. Everybody's neutral with me. Why is nobody trying to be... Nobody, why is nobody trying to get me in this fear? Nobody. Come on, Dumar. What are you doing? I'm going to wait. Increase relations. I'm just going to sit on this screen and try to increase relations with them to no end until they love me. But uh, also, what am I going to do? What I'm going to do is... Look at my population again. Are they at 2%? All right. I'm going to create a state. Two percent, one point seven, one point seven. Okay, I need this guy to go there. Boom. Moralist resurgence. Um, I like moralism. Rejoice, yeah. Rejoice. Okay. Uh, I can build more factories. And I want to build more liquor. Liquor factories. So I'm going to build one in whatever region that is, I think. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, uh, this one. Lazare Sistan. Lazare Stan Sistan. Whatever the heck that is. Let's look here. Laristan. Let's build one. Might as well just build one in each in each uh, province, to be honest with you. You might as well. It's going to help our economy. So I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to get the bonuses that are necessary from the fruit and the wheat. They're, that, they're not that necessary. It doesn't really matter. But still. Uh, let's see. Should I under states? No. Show up to states. doesn't really matter that much. So I'm not too concerned that I don't have, uh, in like every state, I don't have wheat and Oh, that guy's good. That guy's okay. It doesn't really concern me that in every state I don't have wheat and fruit. Because I'll just get it from other states. It doesn't matter. In my opinion. It's not that big a deal. I don't think. I'm sure there are people that have played this game that are like, Whoa, man, you're totally screwing this up. You are completely screwing this game up. You need to check yourself. That is not how you play this game. I am the best. You stink. And to those people, I say, eat my butt. Thank you. Eat my juicy, slim, thick butt. What the hell? One less militancy. Oh, these guys got no allies now. They have no allies. I have 20 units. They have 12 I think I know what I'm going to do. Why can't I demand? Why can't I do a minor conquest? Can I not minor conquest anymore? What happened to minor conquest? What happened to minor conquest? This is, this is BS. <clears throat> I don't know what happened to it. Alright, let's see here. Regional map mode. We want this one because I know it's got coal in it. So tab riz. Tab riz. Tab riz. Let's see. 7 plus 7 is 14. So I could take two provinces off of them. But it's concessions. That's the problem is if I go for that. Ooh. Turkey. What about these guys? They got seven brigades. They got seven brigades. I'm going to take whatever that decision is. 
I want that decision. Where is it? Did I lose it? Did I lose that decision? Huh. I think I lost that decision. Minor oh, acquire states. Okay. 11 to acquire state. I'll look at regions here. Uh, this is owned by me. This is all owned by them. Aleppo. Upper Syria. North Kurdistan. Anatolia. I might take Aleppo and like Anatolia or something depending on what their RGO output is. Oh uh, no, I gotta take, I gotta take Lebanon. Oh no, I can move up here. This steel would be great. Or iron, I mean. I gotta get down to four though. Four infamy. I gotta get down to four infamy before I can even think about doing stuff like that. Not a big deal. All right. Um, I mean, it's a little boring, but we're going to be waiting pretty much. Oh. Take care of the rebels. Go take care of rebels, please. Thank you. <clears throat> They're going to crush the rebels and just go home. All right, so I think the best thing to do to get to get up in uh, power is not to move this way yet, but actually to go into Turkey. Because they got some iron here that I can take, and uh, that would be very valuable. And can I stand, can I be stationed in here? Yes, I can. get up in there so basically the idea would be the idea is going to be to take these armies move in here conquer this land slowly but surely uh get my mobilization going mobilize all my troops have them meet in baghdad and then flood in because turkey only has nine brigades and so i'm basically going to overrun them in the middle Cut off whatever troops are down here. Cut off whatever troops are up here from combining and attacking me at the same time. Uh, at the same time, I have 60 actually good brigades of troops, right, trained troops, 30,000 cannon. I doubt Turkey is, even with mobilized troops, going to possibly be able to defeat my army. And uh, I'm going to start absorbing their empire. I'm going to slowly start absorbing their empire. And... Uh, be able to gain power that way. I know that if there's something about with Navy, right? In the late game, Navy matters a lot. Right now, I really don't have a chance at making a good Navy. So, the way to build a good Navy is to have what's known as connected ports. And I wonder, I don't, I haven't read too much into it, but I wonder if connected ports is referring to connected by land to the other ports or connected to the your capital I guess by land I don't know because if I conquer all this and then I start taking over land on the Mediterranean I wonder if that all counts as connected to Baghdad I don't know something to think about um, but basically I'm just waiting for this to tick down so that I can take two provinces or 22 infamy and that would mean that I would need to be at three or lower infamy. But I think that's going to be for the next episode. Uh, before I go, let me pick another one. Let's go with this. Let's go with him. Uh, you know, this guy, whatever, whatever his name was. I forget now. I don't know. He's a goofball. <clears throat> Funny comedian. Uh, <laughs> we'll go with him for now. Um... With that, I'm going to pause, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.